there are the five games that will be played in other countries. We know about Sao Paulo, the Packers, Eagles, exclusively on Peacock. The first Friday night of the season, a Friday night game right after the Thursday night Ravens Chiefs game. There are the rest. Three in London this year. Sorry, London. Jaguars twice this year. Sorry, London. And then Munich. Sorry, Germany. Giants Panthers. Oh, boy. Oh, geez. Hey, if you're in Germany at the game, don't sit near the owner's suite because he might have a big stein of beer that gets dumped on your head, Chris. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. Yeah. Welcome to Germany. Yes. Thank you. Uh, hey, hey it, I, I'm excited to see this. You know that that Brazil game, I, I still think is like monumental, you know, and I know we've known about that. And yeah, it's cool to see what what, what our, our fellow friends over in the UK are going to get in football. Like there's potential there. That's where I'll say, right? Again, like I think as it looks right now, you go, well, th those matchups aren't like, whoa. But I will say this, like you alluded to, Minnesota, J.J. McCarthy, I think he's NFL ready. I don't think they're going to fall off earth, right? Right? I, J.J. McCarthy's better than anybody that was on Minnesota not named Kirk Cousins last year, and they kind of handled that. So like, and then it's the Jets, and we know that team is real. How they handle everything and what they look like, I don't know, but we know the roster's big time. So that has potential, right? The Jaguars, I think you and I would be in agreement. We expect them to be better than last year, at least more consistent. They do have some big-time players. The Bears, you know, are one of those teams that I, I look at too and go, damn, they're good. And if Caleb Williams kind of hits the ground running like I think he might, it, that could end up being a really awesome matchup. So I'm excited about it. You know, New England, they got some work to do, but at least the Jags, hopefully they're good and they can hold the, the fort down for, for that, that last one there in London. And for those of you listening on Sirius XM 85 or podcast, we didn't verbalize the games. We showed them. It's Packers, Eagles. We mentioned that. Jets, Vikings in London. That is week what? Week what? It's I don't know. It's probably I four, right? October week six, five. maybe it's week five. five. It's right. week yeah, five. It's right. in it's in the document. It's week five. Okay. The next week, Jaguars Bears in London. That's week six. Jaguars stick around for their air quotes home game there. They do the one home game and they're now doing a road game there. So they do two games. They did it last year. They're doing it this year. They're going to be there for week six and week seven. Quote unquote at the Bears week six, hosting the Patriots week seven, and then three weeks later. It's just one game in Munich, Giants at the Panthers, which, again, if you're sitting near David Tepper's suite, wear rain gear because a beer might come flying your way depending upon how the game goes and depending upon whether or not you say something David Tepper doesn't like, like that Jaguars fan found out last year. And, yes, I'm never letting that go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dear owner of the Carolina Panthers. You shouldn't have thrown a drink on somebody. If you wouldn't have thrown a drink on somebody, you wouldn't hear about it all the time. Hey, the hats game, off to you for that one. Tolerate. Hats off to hats you. Off. <laughs> hats off. Hats off. Yeah. Uh, they, well, they oh, too bad, because I think the kid was wearing an Eagles hat. Too bad it's not Eagles Panthers in London. That would make it even better. Okay, so the rest of the schedule is coming tonight. Oh, and one more thing about the Jets. Like, yeah. This is another example of the Jets, you know, <laughs> having pissed someone off at 345 Park Avenue because this was the NFC North return game this year for Aaron Rodgers. And it almost worked out that he was going back to Lambeau Field. But it worked out he was going to U.S. Bank Stadium, a place where he's got a comfort level, a place where he's gone in there and ripped out the hearts of the Vikings and showed them to the fans. Here, skull clap on this. No, he doesn't get to go back to a place where he's got familiarity. He's got to go to London instead. So he loses a chance to go to a stadium where it kind of feels like home away from home. Nope. You're going to London instead. The first schedule I'm looking at when they all come out, I'm looking at the Jets. Yeah. Because week one, they got to go to San Francisco on a right. Monday night, which right. means right out of the gate. Tough game, short week, fly home, week two. Then week five, they got to go to London. And will they have a bye after that, or will they keep playing? Will they have a tough game after that? How many primetime games are they going to have? It's if I'm the Jets, I'm already upset. If I'm a Jets fan, I'm already a little miffed about what I've seen so far from my schedule. Yeah, well, I, definitely. I mean, I think everybody in, in, in Jets fandom world had seven heart attacks when they were like, what? We're opening up on Monday night again. And it's the 49ers. What? 
You know, they're still scarred from last year. I mean, it, it's, it's, you know, part of the Jets fans mantra is that they are, they're cursed that way. Now, you know, I, I hear you. You're right. He'd be comfortable in Minnesota, certainly. But they're the Jets. They're supposed to be good. They got Aaron Rodgers at quarterback, right? They won the offseason last year. Uh, they, that's a big name to be going over there. New York, Rodgers, going over to London. I'm glad for our, our London fans that they'll they'll have a game like that. And I would think if that, you know. If he makes it to week five. If he makes it. If he makes it week five. I'm not right, ready to right. assume anything. Right. As this guy's now 40. Played four snaps last year. I'm not assuming he's going to be on the field week five. If it's they, good they scheduled it early. The one cool thing I think about when I saw that game a little bit ago is if they are good, right? Just let's just play that scenario, right? If they are good and maybe they're three and one going to that game, I would think you could see a, a, a good amount of New Yorkers go over there for the game, right? Being a pretty accessible flight from New York. There's flights going out of there all the time. What is it now to get over from London from New York? Four and a half hours? I mean, it's something like that. Maybe five? You know, I, I, that, that would be cool to see because we've yet to see a home team or any team over in London have a traveling crowd to kind of take over one of those games yet. And I think this could be one of the first times we could have this if they can stay healthy and, and play well. Rodgers played in London once, his final yeah. year with the Packers. Right. They played the Giants, and there was a very memorable chant from the Giants fans about doing something with cheese. That was great. That was awesome. Man, I don't remember and that. Shove the F and cheese up your ass. Wow, Shove they the were doing cheese that? cheese up your ass. Yeah, yeah. They were, they were out in the parking lot chanting it. It was great. That's good. That's so. good. That's good. See, the good Giants. That's why we want, you know, the Giants, they weren't even any good that year, so... You know, now hopefully they made the playoffs. Oh, that, that was year. that year. That was that year. Okay, yeah. yeah. So they had a little traveling. See, you're making my point there. But either way, okay. So hopefully we get that with the Jets and we get some of those cheers there. Jets and Giants going to Europe this year. So five total games in other countries. And I think eventually it's going to get to the point where, and I think the commissioner suggested this recently basically every week there's going to be one of these games early you know the next tv contracts i think are going to have a sunday morning package and possibly every week there's going to be a 9 30 a.m game possibly every week if not every week most weeks there's going to be a 9 30 a.m game that kicks off in europe in that next tv package which i think will be coming effective 2030 because the nfl can pull the plug on the current deal after the 2029 season and once we see what the nba gets for it's next TV contracts. The NFL is is going to make it clear that plug's getting pulled and we're going back to market. And I think there will be a Sunday morning package and there will be those games. And forget about, I mean, that's at, at what point do you even bother to have Sunday morning pregame shows? Why bother? If they're going to have games every week that are on in that window, why bother? So that's going to be part of the conversation going forward, I suspect. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.